Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. On a bright winter day. <laughs> yes. In Mendota, Virginia. Yes, we said summer a minute ago. So. Yeah, that'll be in the bloopers. <laughs> if you want to go to our personal channel and watch it. Yeah. So anyways, we are here in Mendota. Ready to hit the Mendota Trail, aren't we? No, not really. <laughs> Jog about three or four miles down this way. And see what we can say, but Maybe one day, but not today. Not today. Well, we don't have time. Today, we are going to show you guys Mendota. Yeah. We're going to show you around the little village here. Yes. And if you watched our last video, yes. you know we drove down Mendota Road. Yes. And now we're in the actual Mendota. Yes. So stick around. You do not want to miss this one and all of the cool things that you are going to see. In this little village. Yeah, that's right so give us a thumbs up on this video if you like it subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and share it with everyone you know let's get on the road all right okay there's a little trail i'd like to walk that someday wouldn't you yes absolutely i love hiking and we're also in the vicinity right now of Adventure Mendota, right? Yes, that's exactly yeah. right. I've heard a lot of great things about them, and yeah. I was really excited to see that they come around and start it up. So they do like canoeing and kayaking. Yeah, and just a lot of outdoor stuff. And yeah. That's, you know, it's a beautiful place to do that at. Oh, the yeah. The water's up a little high today. The water is a little high today. At least it's not flooded out the road no. yet, and I hope that it doesn't, but kind of looking like it's getting there yeah there was a sign out there that said road may flood so that was good for a warning wasn't it? yeah but they, it's a uh, cute little park across it says beulah land oh yeah yeah so we are in mendota which is an unincorporated village and since it's a designated place in washington county you know what, calling it a village seems like a good way to describe it. <laughs> I know, it really does. That's why I went with that word. <laughs> so the population in 2020 was 135. So they have a medical clinic, a post office, a couple of churches, um, a lot of residences. Um, there is a little store diner from what it's saying, but um, it looked like they were closed today, so we won't get to visit in. God damn it. I know. We got the worst luck for that. No? I know. The closest city is Bristol, um, and they are recognized as the hawk capital of the world. That's How cool neat. is that? I was looking for some. I went to the Mendota Fire Tower, which is not near here, but um, but I, I didn't see any hawks. Oh, okay. Sad. I saw a lot of graffiti up there, though. Oh, yeah? I saw a couple up there making out. <laughs> Get that old sign over there, that Pepsi one. Yes. Beats, beats the others cold. I love it. You know, I'm a Pepsi go. girl. So there's that general store you're talking about. Yeah. And here's the Mendota Baptist Church. Yes. And it looks like the Mendota Trail starts down there below the church. This is pretty cool. It's like a building. So little glimpse around the mountains here and the Mendota Trail. Mendota Baptist Church. All right, so right before you, you see the Mendota Trail sign, and that's definitely becoming a bigger business here. It's a lot of trails, hiking, biking. We just saw a biker actually just came past, right past us. Came up, it's kind of spooked us a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> That's another story. It's uh, a store at Mendota. You're getting too much fun out of that one. So, yeah, it looks like a nice little store. I, know, I was hoping to be open today, but we caught, it, we caught it off hours. Yes. And then this is just the main drag of the village here, so. We like saying village, as you can tell. I know, you, since you've introduced that word in this video, it's gonna be very prominent, but. Yeah, I, I love that I'm a house. tree lover. Look how pretty the tree is. It's a uh, nice little downtown area. Well, that khaki colored house, man. Now, would you not just love to get that and fix it up? Oh, absolutely. I can't believe that it's been let, to let go. I know. Because that could be a mansion. Oh, absolutely. Or a bed, good bed and breakfast or something here. Here we show you around a little bit of this, too, on the inside of the general store. Pretty neat. I guess it must be closed this time of year, what do you think? Yeah, I guess so. Because they said it would be open today from 11 to 5 on the hours on the window. But, of course... Not a lot of trail business and so forth in the winter. So All right. it makes sense to not have something open year round. Yeah. Beautiful though. And here's the old Mendota Mint General Store, mm -hmm. which as you said, just appears to be out of operation. Yep. So 
that. It's a nice little building. Yeah, it is. But I know sometimes they get to where they need a lot of work done. Yeah, and you don't have much population to sustain stuff, you know. Right. And it seems like the store down the road does really well, but... Yeah. You know, how many stores did you really need in Mendota? I mm -hmm. don't know. I'm sure this house, too, a little bit. Yeah. Since we're it looks like somewhere that would have a good haunted story to it. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so if somebody from Mendota knows it, tell us all about it. Because why would this not be kept up? You know? I know, it's gorgeous. Again, it takes a lot of money, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Not everybody's got it. That's right. You know who doesn't have it? These, These guys. guys. <laughs> well, we found the side door open. Mm -hmm. Decided to take a little look. We're not gonna walk in there because guess what? There's, there's no floor. There's no floor. <laughs> yeah. But you can tell it's really rough shape now, obviously. Yeah, but it looks like it was such a nice house. Yeah. Look at the woodwork around the door and Oh yeah. And the brick out here, you can tell this thing was about to last, but Yeah. But not last this long, I guess. Yeah. Shows you how much it takes to keep something up, you know? Yeah. And anytime anything sits empty, it's hard yeah. to keep it up and going. Since you get water too, it's just gonna yep. death blow. But yep. that's the tail of this little house. Yeah. All right, we decided to take a seat here and let Melody tell a little interesting tale. It's not a good tale, but it's yeah. uh, something that's uh, certainly captured our attention when it happened, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And it's a story I've tried to follow a little bit. And I'm going on this from memory. Um, I didn't pull up the story ahead of time today, but um, Mendota was in the news a few years ago because of the Mendota serial killer. And trying to be respectful because no town wants mm -hmm. or community wants to be known for anything like that. But there was a man, um, James Michael Wright, he was in his early 20s, and from what I recall, um, he was in a car accident where he hit a school bus. And when the police come to investigate the crash, they found in his truck a possession of a woman that had been missing. So upon further investigation and talking with James Michael Wright, it was found that he had murdered three women that he had met working in the carnival. So, um, yeah, he was working as a carny. He met these women. He had shot all three of them. And um, I know one was buried on his property. I think that one he uh, threw into the river. And maybe the other wasn't found or something to that effect. But he was actually just sentenced to life in prison. Um, pretty recently at the time of this video so at least justice was served yeah um, but it was just a horrific thing that you know never should happen you never expect to hear it in a little small community exactly like this. Yeah. So that's what's so shocking and and especially in southwest Virginia yeah. but I mean I, we haven't heard of serial killers around I mean I don't think I have in my life I'm really but he was considered a serial killer. Um, I think that they say any time that there's more than two people killed in more than one location, that it's considered a serial killer. And it makes you wonder if that was the only three that he was caught with. Yeah. A lot of times that's the case, that there's more that we just don't know of. And I think that that was a suspicion with him. Yeah, it's so out of character for such a peaceful community and just mm -hmm. you never dream it, but evil is anywhere if you got the wrong person. That's so. exactly right. Yeah. It's just one of those things, but. Yeah, but it was hard to come to Mendota and not mention yeah. that gripping story. Yeah, a lot of people, if you've heard of Mendota, unfortunately, mm -hmm. a lot of people did for that during yeah, that time period. Exactly. It made national news. And, yeah. Um, but like you said, there's evil everywhere in the world, and this is still such a peaceful and beautiful community. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah like a building getting tore down or either fire or something. Yeah, so took it There's out. some more old Pepsi signs. Welcome to Mendota, founded in 1794. So that was, I guess, an old general store, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. So Mendota means bend in the river. It's a Native American word and it is on the north fork of the Holston River. Holston River? Yes, the Holston, Holston. River. <laughs> the last video we... <laughs> we were saying, is it Clint or... Yeah, Holston. the Holston. Of course it's the Holston. Yeah. I don't know that. 
so it looks like on the right was the Mendota Elementary School. I don't know if it's still in function as an elementary school though, but the Mendota branch of the Washington County Library well, it says is down Mendota there. Community Center, so I guess not. Oh, okay. So it's an old elementary school. Yeah. Yeah. So in 1770, a man named Peter Livingston and his family settled on to it. 2,000 acres of land in the area and it was very fertile for crops and that kind of thing so he cleared out the acreage and brought in slaves to help with the work um, so in 1794 the feared Cherokee chief Benji or Ben Benji, Benji um, he and his followers quietly crept upon the settlement they were planning to capture the slaves to sell to the british um, peter and his brother henry saw smoke rising from the direction of their homes and come back to their homes to find that their wives and some of the slaves had been carried off wow that'd be terrifying wouldn't it? oh yeah so they didn't know the route the indians would take and but they followed the trail um, and others were sent to notify the militias in the surrounding areas. So, going towards Big Stone Gap, um, he took some of Benji's party and got them. Um, the Lee County Militia set up an ambush around Big Stone Gap. Um, and so, red-headed Benji fired from the cover and the Cherokee chief was killed and the captives were released. So that was when Benji met his end. It's because he messed with the Mendota settlement. And we've been uh, to that place before where he was killed. It's called Benji's Gap. And uh, yeah, it's, I can't remember, Robinson Walker or something overlook is what they call it now, but it's a fortress overlook between Big Stone Gap and Norton. Mm -hmm. I've posted videos two or three times about that. But yeah, and so, Mendota um, become an important part of the railroad line between Bristol and Hilton after the fact. And in the 20s, the town council worked to turn Mendota into a thriving community, but the government eventually, um, you know, fell apart due to lack of organization. That happens in a lot of small communities. Oh, yeah. So the tribes and the railroad moved on and Mendota was kind of left as a quiet little village. But, you know, a lot of people come down here to stay and visit and go to Adventure Mendota and that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a little surprising when you get down here. This easily could have, could have been developed into a major opera because of the water. It's got everything you need, flat land. Got everything you need to get in a major community or town, but it just never took off for whatever reason. I guess it's pretty remote. Yeah. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at Mendota, Virginia. Yes, it's been a nice little peaceful day for us, and we really enjoyed it. Yeah, this is your first trip here, right? Yes, it is, and it won't be my last. That's I've exactly. got to come hit the Mendota Trail. You definitely yeah. got to hit it, too, in fall. I mean, it's, yeah, that sounds it's my great. favorite place to come yeah. when the leaves start changing. Yes. Anyway. So we hope that you guys loved it, and maybe you'll want to check it out yourself. So drop us a comment, give us a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. That's right. And we will see you, see you on, on down, down the road. road.